What's going on guys? This is episode two of our tour of Baffin Bay. More specifically, we are at Cayo de Grillo Bay, uh, about to launch my kayak. We're gonna get a late start, see if we can get on a late bite before the sun sets. So I'm super, super excited. I've never fished this bay area before, or I've never actually fished Baffin Bay. So I am doing this tour of Baffin Bay so I can show you guys what I'm experiencing and what you guys can look forward to if you ever come to Baffin Bay. So yeah, guys, stay tuned. We're gonna launch the kayak and let's get at it. Let's see if we can get some fish on the stringer. All right, man, let's go. All right, so the bottom seems like it's uh, hard sand. Maybe a little bit of mud, but mostly hard sand. So this would be a nice wade, wade fishing area. And there are some people bank fishing and wade fishing here, the, the locals. So without further ado, man, let's go to our spot. Low winds right now. That's why we're taking advantage of the late afternoon bite. So after doing some research on Google Maps and looking at the whole Baffin area and the surrounding bays around Baffin, it's really beachy, if that makes any sense. I mean, it's hard sand, a little bit of mud. Water is very, very hyper salinity. Is that a word, hyper salinity? <laughs> but it's very salty. Um, trout dominate these waters. So if you're looking to catch a big trout, this would be one of the places along with Matagorda. I've heard reports that people pulling out 30 plus inch trout from this area. So I don't know, we'll see. Uh, I'm not really looking, I'm just seeing if I can catch some fish, take advantage and explore this beautiful, beautiful bay that the Texas coast has to offer. All right, we're gonna start off with the trout thumper because we think we're gonna catch trout, hopefully. <laughs> hopefully I didn't jinx myself right there. Let's get it wet. This is the 1 8 ounce trout thumper. I think it's croaker color, but it should be appropriate, more of a natural color. And I may end up changing the trailer from it to a more pronounced paddle tail, but we'll see. Let's flick it for a few minutes. Let's go ahead and put a bigger trailer, a bigger and pronounced trailer on this so we can get something to bite it. One good thing about it, I love about the trout thumper, it's like so easy to change a trailer. Heath actually des designed this pretty cool where it's actually, <laughs> it's like simple, plug and play. Let's go with the 3.3 inch Coogan baits. Uh, this right here I think is Gobi. And uh, let's see if this will work with that trailer. So we want to get the uh, same length pretty much. So, wow, we're going to cut down pretty much a lot of it. That much should be good. And now you have a trout thumper on steroids. <laughs> yeah, this is going to be good. I have a feeling in my bones, guys. This is going to be good. Look at that. Makes it much more dense too, much heavier, easier throw in my opinion. Oh yeah, that trailer, that trailer, much better. All right, guys, check out this big, big snake right over here. <laughs> He's just chilling in the water right there. I think we're gonna leave him alone. I don't know what kind of snake that is. I really don't want to know. It's a nice big snake though. <laughs> Like there's grass here which is good to see flowing grass that's what we're kind of looking for just need to find the tailing reds now they should be they should be like active right now feeding well, that's what i assume
There we go. There's a fish. That's a that's a red. That's a red. Nice. Or oh, that's a nice trout. That's a red or a trout? Oh, it's a sheep's head. What? <laughs> I'll take it, man. Beautiful. Oh, it's a black drum. No. What is it? No, it's a sheep's head. Wow, that's crazy. I will take any of these beautiful baffin creatures here. And this is a big, big sheep's head. Holy smoke, that's a big sheep's head. Dang, beautiful. On a trout thumber. I wasn't even using shrimp. <laughs> I was using a trout thumper and dude smoked it. Well, trout thumper catches fish, no doubt. God, that's a big, healthy sheep's head. Look at that sheep's head, guys. Like I said, I think this might be my PB. He's easily, I want to say, close to 20 inches. <laughs> Thank you so much for the fight. You're a beautiful baffin giant. Definitely one of the bigger sheep's head I've ever caught. Beautiful man, he hit it like a redfish. There he goes. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and that's awesome, man. That just shows you how healthy this ecosystem is. You get big trout, big sheep's head. Now we're just missing the big redfish. So let's let's see if we can get one of those guys. Oh, there's a red. There's a redfish. I see a red. In the shallow. Let's see if we can Yeah, he's right over here. Saw his back. See if we can get him. He's right in here. Come on, redfish, where are you at? Oh, there he is. Dang it. He's right there this whole time, laying in the mud. Definitely a redfish. First red I've seen. This is beautiful, huh? It's really nice. So different than what we have on the upper Texas coast. I think that's a red right over there. Right there, right before the grass patch. Looks like it with its back out. Let's get a closer look. Try not to get him spooked by all this mullet. Oh, there he is. I think that's him. Let's get a little bit closer. We got him. That was a red. Yep, there we go. There we go. Got him. First bath in red. <laughs> oh, he let go. Oh, wow. I knew that was a red. Dang. <laughs> that was fun while it lasted. He let go. He spit the hook. Dang it. <laughs> Take it under. There you go. What? Got him. Whatever it is. Yeah, it's a trout. Nice. Yeah, it's a small school specs. That's what these birds are chasing. Yeah, nice spec. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. The baffin, the baffin giant. <laughs> Check that out. Beautiful guy. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to call it quits, man. The winds have really, really picked up. I got an alert on my phone that a heavy uh, thunderstorm is on our way. It's in the uh, general vicinity. So uh, just gonna play it safe and go ahead and uh, pack it up. But uh, I'm not looking forward to the sleeping <laughs> on the uh, kayak launch spot, the camping, because with all that heavy rain and thunderstorms, it's probably gonna keep me up all night long. But that, you know, that's the nature of the beast. I really, really enjoyed this Bath and Bay trip. Let me know in the comment sections if you guys enjoyed it, uh, if it's something that or if these trips are really helping you guys to really show if you've never been like to these areas to really show you uh, the beauty that it has to offer uh, there's so much beauty uh, unfortunately you can only put so much on film um, but I try my best to get the main points but um, about Bath and Bay area the fishing the fishing is great the water is beautiful these bays are really really shallow very 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 salty uh, if you're a big sea trout fisherman or speckled trout rather you know, this, this is probably one of the destinations you probably want to hit up along with Matagorda. Some big, big trout out here. I mean, I'm not even a, I'm not even good at <laughs> speckled trout fishing and I was able to catch two nice uh, 22 plus inch uh, trout. So I'm really, really happy. But guys, let me know. Do you like these travel, uh, Texas travel 
uh, videos you want me to continue if you do then I will continue to put the effort in if not then you know I, I won't I won't put them out it's everything is dictated by you guys my viewers which I love every single one of you guys so our bathroom trip wouldn't be complete unless I showed you a great hole in the wall that the locals recommend so we are here at the King's Inn which was highly recommended by several folks at the kayak launch spot so we're gonna get our grub on and show you what it's all about You guys, that's in day right there. All right, so the waiter just took our order. He said that they recommend a seafood platter if this is the first time here. I didn't order that. I just ordered shrimp, fish, and a salad for the nice seat. So we'll see what happens. I think uh, I think fried is their main specialty, but we'll see. That's nice avocado salad with tomatoes. You need to address something. Okay, thank you. Salad's very light. Not bad, not bad. Um, they have their own dipping sauce right here. I'm not exactly sure what it is, but it's actually pretty good. With the crackers. Actually, it's, it's not bad at all. It's, it's pretty good. So we got some grilled black drum, some fried shrimp, some hush puppies, and a side of french fries. That looks pretty delicious, man. Thank you so much. That looks pretty good, man. They said they caught this in the bay. They say they got this in North Carolina. <laughs> no, I'm just joking. <laughs> Gulf of Mexico, right? <laughs> they caught those drums here locally, but they won't share where the spot's at. Well, that drum is uh, really not flavorful, in my opinion. Yeah. 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 Right here. This looks like a filet from a puppy drum, so not a big ugly. Some lemon on it, I think. Take a bite here, see what it's all about. Uh, it's not bad. It's actually pretty good. It is it is kind of bland. And we got some cocktail sauce here though. Take a look at that. Oh, it's much better. Yep. Cocktail sauce. Mm -hmm. In the spot. Cocktail sauce really helps. I need a we need a company when I'm not working. Yeah, definitely. Good. We need a company when I'm not working. Here's a shrimp too. Shrimp nice and big. Mm. Shrimp is really good, bro. Not bad, man. Not bad at all. All right, gentlemen. I'm kind of embarrassed to show you of how much I just consumed. One, two, three, four, five. I ate six shrimps. The shrimps were pretty good. The grilled black drum. It's not bad. It needs a little more flavoring. The hush puppies were really good. The fries were good, and the avocado salad was not bad at all. This sauce right here, or it's not a sauce, it's a dip for the crackers. That's pretty good. So overall, it's not a bad little restaurant for uh, being in a place that really doesn't have like a metropolitan area or a city. The nearest biggest city is gonna be Kingsville, but uh, yeah, I mean, uh, if you ever come, if you guys ever come down to Kite Fish Bite, Mountain Bay area, make sure you stop by King's Inn. It's not, really not bad at all. I'm, I'm actually impressed. It's like a fancy Long John Silver's.